hello it is a beautiful day as you can see i'm in my favorite place the kitchen and it is technically a holiday uh i don't personally know because i don't work for corporate america or corporate canada but i do know it's good friday it's easter weekend which is lovely i always associate easter weekend with like spring is actually here but i live in la now so i guess things are a little bit different today i am doing a little bit of work and a lot of fun fingers crossed so i'm gonna bring you along for i guess my long weekend just whatever i'm up to this weekend i've been pretty low key as you may have noticed because i haven't uploaded any videos recently after getting back from my trip i was exhausted and i just took some time to rest to recover and not do too much because i think that's a pretty easy thing for me and a lot of people to do is just like get back to it and keep going at full speed and i was not capable of it but i'm feeling better I'm back to myself i had acupuncture and cupping yesterday so you can probably see look at all my cupping i guess i really needed that in the neck um so i am like a little a little sore but feeling good today i have a podcast i need to record this morning before meeting but I'm gonna start with a coffee and breakfast. So let's get the good stuff going before work begins. So I'm in a, like an Americano phase. When I was in Montreal, I kept getting Americanos because the coffee in Montreal is literally the best so i just um put in a espresso pot of my nespresso got some water i'm just gonna make my little americano and then i'll add i also like to add a little bit of milk so i'll just do a little bit of almond milk in it delicious not as good as Montreal but still pretty good okay so one thing that I've been doing more lately because I usually don't is I do my hair and my makeup what a crazy concept I don't do it every single day um, just because I want to give my skin a break I often don't wear a lot of makeup so I'm always like what's the point but since I have some things that I'm gonna be going out for I'm gonna meet a friend for lunch and because I'm recording a podcast, it always just makes me feel a little bit better when I have my hair and makeup done at the beginning of the day, rather than like waiting until before I go out for like lunch or dinner or whatever it may be. So I'm just gonna do a little touch up, beautify myself and get the day going. I'm probably gonna listen to a podcast. Yes, I'm recording a podcast, but I'm gonna listen to a podcast before. If you haven't heard Mary Young, my brand, we launched our Self Love Club podcast, which is very personal to me it's like literally just me and talking almost every week talking about our monthly intentions we'll have different guests on we've already had our first guest so that's what i'm going to be recording after i get ready and then i'm probably going to listen to to be honest a murder podcast i've been listening to the deck which is the same women from well one of the women from crime junkie and they just do a really good job of not just like glorifying crime and murder, but really advocating for the victims and the victims' families, which I think is a huge part of my interest in it, is just how we can help people who go through such tragedies or how we as a community, believe it or not, we're still a community, can support one another and making sure that people feel safe and how we can help people overcome tragedies. So I'm gonna listen to one of those episodes while I get ready. Knowing you purchase the right product it's something that we're all going to experience at some point in our life. Again, grief doesn't always tie to the loss of a loved one or an individual like when there's a death, but it can also be the loss of a job, financial security, romantic relationships, even friendships. All right, I have a call in 10 minutes, so I'm just gonna do a little bit of decompression. Podcast is recorded. I'm probably gonna message some friends back because I have 12 text messages I have to get back to, um, which is does stress me out. I'm not gonna lie. If you listen to this could work podcast that aired, I guess it'll be last week when this video comes up. Um, 
we talked about boundaries with our guest Ashley Marcinek, who is a friend of mine but also a personal coach and I shared my stressors around technology and the boundaries that I don't have with technology so I'm learning how to like everything time block my life but even time block technology in terms of replying to friends having conversations with friends and making sure that when I do reply and I show up that I'm feeling my best and that I'm able to communicate the way that I want to and the way that I would want them to with me. So I'm going to take the next 10 minutes to do a little bit of decompression, reply to some messages, and then get on my call on my meeting that I have. It's so beautiful. It's literally 24 degrees. I don't even understand. I don't understand how this is the weather. This is LA, but I'm off for lunch and I can't wait to just catch up with my friend Kenzie, have lunch outside, and enjoy the Friday, the long weekend. I might be the caffeine talking, but I'm feeling great. I love it. Okay, so it is date night, and I am wearing a very casual outfit. This is a like thrifted tank top from a store in Toronto. An old Gap sweater that I love. I think it's like seven, maybe eight years old now. And then my A Goldie jeans, the asymmetrical waist. No shoes yet because we're a no shoes indoor household, but I'll probably wear, mm, I think like Jordans are just like a cute sneaker because I don't really wear heels. Maybe I need to get back into wearing heels, but we're gonna go have cocktails and tacos. Okay. It is the day after the day, it's two days later. And yesterday was supposed to be a bit of a different day than how it turned out. We had some fun plans, but life happened. And uh, I got the news that my aunt who had heart surgery a month ago, who's been struggling to recover from her heart surgery passed away. Um, and that was the morning. So it ended up taking the day off course and just didn't do much because of that. We did end up going by our friends who had a baby just to go say hi, drop off a couple things. It was nice to see like new life when I knew that life ends. Um, so a little bit hard. I definitely don't enjoy the <laughs> loss. Obviously no one does and this month April is a hard month for me because my dad actually, he died on April 1st in 2011. So April has always been a bit of an emotional month for me just with the feelings of loss and the trauma, reliving trauma around when my dad was sick and when he passed away. And then now having my aunt pass away in the same month just feels pretty heavy, but the universe was doing something because on the self love club for Mary Young this month, our intention was grief. Or I guess is grief. So I've been doing research and exploring around grief, which has actually been really helpful for me as I navigate my own grief because the reality is grief doesn't like end. It's been 12 years since my dad died and I still grieve his loss in so many different ways and I'm taking my own advice. So the podcast episode that went up today, I recorded obviously before my aunt passed um and i already listened to it as a reminder of what can i be doing for myself how can i be asking for support from my friends or um you know even my family how can i show up for other people so i had a very slow morning i watched some hgtv shows in bed because that is like my guilty pleasure i love home reno shows and it's a beautiful day so i really do want to get out and just like remember Life can still be beautiful despite, you know, when you're not feeling like it. So getting ready, as you can see, I touched up my hair. It's almost hair wash day. Um, so this is like the end, but it still looks pretty good, I have to say. So I touched up my hair, did my makeup, and then I think Michael and I are just gonna go out and go for a walk, maybe go browsing, just like do things that bring us joy and taking care of ourselves. So it's a bit more of a slower weekend, but I am also really grateful that I have Michael and he and I are going through this together, that he met my aunt, he had so much time with her. She, you know, was a part of our one year wedding anniversary because she couldn't be a part of our wedding because it was in the pandemic. So it's really nice to be able to talk about her and memories of her with Michael because he actually got to know her quite well. 
So it's, um, it's a bit of a different experience when my dad died because a lot of people in my life at the time when my dad died had never met him and most people obviously over the past 12 years that I've gotten closer to had never met my dad and never got to, um, yeah, I got to know him the way that it's nice to be able to share stories and talk about someone after they're gone just because it keeps their memory alive. So we are going to do a little bit of that today, enjoying the sunshine, feeling grateful for life and just, you know, taking it day by day and being thankful that we have each other. And again, this goes back to my whole my whole conversation around why do I do YouTube is because this is real life. I don't want to just show you like the highlights of when I'm doing something super fun and I'm going and getting my nails done or getting my hair done or we're on, you know, a, like a weekend away, a staycation. Like this is the reality is life happens and your plans get, you know, sidetracked. They get changed because of life. But this is something that if you haven't been through it, you unfortunately will go through death at some point and if you have been through it you know how it is and I just want everyone to know it is not a isolating experience everyone else can relate to it it is your own unique experience but we are in this together and this is just how I'm handling it this time around but if you are experiencing any grief for going through that I highly recommend listening to the self-love club podcast I'll put it in the show notes so you can listen to are two episodes that have been on grief so far, just so that you can join on this healing journey and understanding grief and what uh, self-care and self-love can look like through it, because I think that's a big thing to help yourself when you're grieving is to love yourself despite it being hard to when there's so much other things happening in your life. So that's gonna be my Sunday. We're going to enjoy. I'll show you around, I'll take you with us and you know, just trying to be grateful for the life that I have and the time that I've had with the people who are no longer with us, but also now I have more angels in heaven. So that really is something I focus on to bring me peace and a little bit of joy despite it all. Mm -hmm. 